Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. I just want to reiterate uh, to those in every court of every state, mm -hmm. do the government agencies that provide the information for this site and maintain this site guarantee uh -huh, that the information is accurate or complete? No. Um, guarantee that the information mm -hmm, is in the most current form? No. Mm -hmm. Guarantee the identity of any person whose name appears on these pages? No. Mm -hmm. Assume any liability resulting from the release or the use of the information? No. Mm -hmm. Now, I, I think that the state of Washington does assume liability. Yes. yes. When a uh, while being uh, video arraigned? Yes. Transport across county lines? Yes. After having asked law enforcement what the uh, district court hearing was about in Jefferson County? Yes. Is that when the prosecuting attorney is so arrogant as to say, well, I have here, right, an email where Mr. Budnick had knowledge of the court hearing? Yeah. Now, having knowledge of what the state court website says means that I also understood the liability for the information that I was reading on the state court website. Yes. The state would say, well, we, we do not guarantee the information. And I would say, well, the prosecuting attorney relied upon the information as being true and correct <laughs> because of his uh, refusal to acknowledge my right to have notice from the state of Washington. Yes. Now, let's say I went to sue in the state right now. Because of the arrogance of an asshole named Brent Roberts that said, Well, Judge, obviously you didn't know about the court hearing. I have an email right here that says he does. The problem is mm -hmm, the government agencies, uh huh, they do not guarantee the information as being correct. Mm -hmm. It's kind of like me reading what the state court website says about a dissolution of marriage. Yeah. And you ask me, Do you have knowledge of the dissolution? No. Mm -hmm. You never served me. Oh, I have no idea what the dissolution of marriage says. <laughs> because you do not acknowledge my rights as an American citizen, Pooch. Now, I, Brett Roberts, Deputy Prosecuting Attorney for Jefferson County, mm -hmm, in the name and of the liability oh, of the state of Washington, acknowledge that the defendant yes, that is accused of uh, cyber-stalking in violation of no contact order, yes, have omitted the necessary requirements to accuse an individual. So, that would be summons of court hearing, mm -hmm. a copy of the criminal complaint uh, at least five judicial days prior to having a court hearing, yes. And then a signed statement from somebody, yes, that says that the victim was victimized in Brennan, Washington. Uh oh. <laughs> Now, when I don't know if the petitioner has knowledge of the protection order because I don't see the petitioner's signature on the protection order, poof, how the fuck is it that you thought that you could try me and say I was crazy, yes, without myself knowing if the petitioner has knowledge of the protection order? <laughs> now, the state's obstructing me from signing here right now because of the arrogance of asshole prosecuting attorneys that say that, well, he has knowledge of it, but I don't. I don't have knowledge of anything without the knowledge of liability. Po, I know, I know something if you're liable for the knowledge that I have. Uh oh. Now, United States versus McGrath, the uh, residual hearsay. The judge did not err in admitting this prior statement as residual hearsay. Yes. Now, there's United States versus Bridges. The military judge admitted the declarant's hearsay statements into evidence. Yeah. 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 Now, uh, the defendant? Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, well, let's see here. Uh, admitted the declarant's hearsay statement into evidence. Admitted the non-liable statements of the state court website into evidence. Um. Now, there's the accused may forfeit uh, their right to confront a witness if he engaged in wrongdoing that was intended to and did procure the unavailability of the witness. Now, this is an interesting rule. If you kill the person, yeah, 
you can't uh, you can't really uh, you can't question them about <laughs> admitting their declarations during a trial for whatever reason. <laughs> I know. When you think about it, yes. You forfeit your right to confront a witness if you engaged in a wrongdoing that was intended to and did procure the unavailability of the witness. Now, the, the rule of forfeiture by wrong extinguishes uh, the confrontation claims on essentially equitable grounds. Yes. Now, um, I did read that somebody had uh, killed the witnesses against them. 